So, in case you've been living under a rock, Fortnite Chapter 2 is officially underway, and we now have a completely new map to explore. That's right, there's no more Lazy Lagoon, Snobby Shores, Tilted Town, or Polar Peak. Instead, we've been given brand new locations such as Misty Meadows, Steamy Stacks, and Holly Hedges. But just like the old map, the name locations can quickly get overcrowded with a ton of players dropping into them. Meaning, you're probably going to find yourself getting eliminated super early or struggling to find good loot. Lucky for you though, there's some great unmarked points of interest throughout the entire new map where you can get great loot and not have to worry about everyone else being there. So on today's episode of The Countdown, we're going to be breaking down the 10 best Chapter 2 locations you didn't know about. Number 10. Staging Post So, let's say you're dropping your steamy stacks or dirty docks but you see a handful of other players jumping out of the battle bus and headed towards those locations at the same time. You might be thinking that this game is a wash and your luck has already ran out, but luckily there's a much smaller location with amazing loot and it's located right in between steamy stacks and dirty docks. We're talking about the EGO staging post, which is an unmarked point of interest with a sort of military theme. Surrounded by barbed wire and military vehicles, the staging post has plenty of chests spread throughout its small area. You can find one in almost every building, on the bed of the semi-truck and even on the roof of the green watchtower. We're not exactly sure what EGO stands for or who the space belongs to, but it's a great alternative drop point with plenty of good loot. Number 9. The Mountain Camps Fortnite's winter biome is a thing of the past, for now at least. Chapter 2 did away with Polar Peak and the surrounding snowy areas, but if you take a close look at the bottom right corner of the new map, you'll notice a small mountain range covered in snow. On the base of the three largest mountains, you'll find small camping areas that consist mostly of tiny tents, tables, and porta potties. Surprisingly though, you can find a couple of loot llamas within these camps, as well as some chests hidden under a few of the tents containing some good loot. Base Camp Golf, the middle camp, even has a small snow cone truck with a chest sitting right in front of it. Hitting up these camps can be a great way to avoid the other players dropping into Misty Meadows and Lazy Lake. Plus, if you're quick, you can loot all three of them, setting yourself up to be prepared for the rest of the match. Number 8. Central Island if you take a look at Fortnite's new map, there's probably one point that sticks out as a place that definitely should have a name. Don't know what I'm talking about? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the island in the dead center? Not only is the central island not labeled, but it doesn't even have a point of interest name, which is why we've simply named it the central island. Anyways, this island consists of two large log cabins with a ton of chests located in and around them. You'll find chests in all the rooms, on top of the picnic tables, and even hidden behind a giant stack of toilet paper. We'll be completely honest though, since this location is in the dead center of the map and it's pretty noticeable, we can't guarantee that you'll be dropping here alone. Nevertheless, it has great loot and for some reason, no one decided to give it a name. So you know, if you have a cooler one than Central Island, hit us up on Instagram, at ArcadeClub. Number 7. Crashed Cargo If you're planning to drop into Sweaty Sands, but you happen to see several other players that have the same idea, do yourself a favor and head west to the nearby beach. Here, you'll find that a giant cargo ship has crashed into the island, and you can even see the boat floating upside down right off the coast. On the beach itself, there's a ton of freight containers spread out all over the place, and many of those freight containers contain chests. Now considering this location is so condensed, you can loot three chests in under a minute, giving you a great opportunity to gear up quickly. On top of that, the nearby boathouse has a chest as well. Oh, and it also has a boat, so like, this is the perfect getaway spot to move on to another point. Crashed cargo might be a bit out of the way, but it guarantees you some quick loot and can really give you the edge when all the sweats are heading to sweaty sands instead. Number 6. Power Station One of the coolest new landmarks introduced into Chapter 2 was definitely the Giant Dam. But what the trailer didn't tell us is that one of the game's best unmarked locations was right beneath it. The power station is an unnamed point of interest located on the lower portion of the map right between Slurpy Swamp and Misty Meadows. If you don't want to deal with a large crowd of players dropping into Slurpy Swamp and Misty Meadows, this spot can make a great alternative and still get you plenty of loot. The building looks much like a factory with large generators inside and several electrical transformers located around it. Inside, you'll find a fair amount of loot chests behind many of the the station's doors, and you're much more likely to avoid enemy players here. If you do run into someone, there's a dumpster right outside you can hide in, or you could even take the nearby boat and get out of there. Overall, we think the power station is an underrated drop location and you should definitely check it out. Number 5. Camp Cod 
This next location is probably the closest Epic Games has gotten to putting a real-life location into Fortnite, as Camp Cod is clearly inspired by the popular Massachusetts vacation spot, Cape Cod. I mean, it's in the name, so we're pretty sure Epic isn't trying to be too sneaky here. Anyways, Camp Cod is an island located on the bottom of the map right between two mountains and just southeast of Misty Meadows. The island consists of several smaller areas, including a vacation home and a junkyard. Plus, there's tons of loot to be found. You'll find that the island has some pretty unique qualities, and you can even discover a statue of a lion outside of the vacation home, and a horn playing bear when you walk indoors. There really is some great loot to be found on Camp Cod, and the location does a great job of tying into the water theme that Chapter 2 has been rolling with so far. But it'll be much calmer than Misty Meadows, and you'll likely find just as much good stuff. Number 4. Fort Crumpet with each season of Fortnite, Epic is sure to bring some fresh ideas to the table. And that's definitely true when it comes to this next location. Another great alternative to dropping into sweaty sands, Fort Crumpet is a new unmarked location with plenty of chests filled with quality loot. The place looks like it could have been an old abandoned Civil War fort of some sort, as the building is missing many of its walls and ceilings. And it's clear that it went through some sort of battle at one point. This is definitely confirmed by the old school cannons that are found throughout it. But unlike the cannons seen earlier in Fortnite, these are just for show and won't launch anything. At least not anymore. What really makes this location interesting though, is the fact that it's been turned into some sort of museum, with informational signs and fancy red dividers all over the place. Overall, Fort Crumpet is pretty creative and it has plenty of great loot, which is why it earned the number 4 spot on our list. Number 3. Lockie's Lighthouse Another really cool water-themed location that Fortnite has added, and one that you might have already noticed, is the lighthouse. There's a good chance that you might have seen this lighthouse while running across the map, but thought it was just a bit too far away to go check out. Considering that it's located at the very top of the map, northwest of Pleasant Park, you're probably right. Dropping into Lockie's lighthouse can give you a great advantage though, as there's tons of good loot to be found. Before you check out the lighthouse itself, make sure you go into the nearby large building first. That building alone has plenty of great chests for you to open up before you head into the lighthouse. You'll need to climb a set of spiraling stairs that might make you a bit dizzy by the end of it, but between the lighthouse and the nearby building, you'll have so much gear to get you through the remainder of the game. And yeah, this spot might be a bit out of the way, but there's a good chance that you'll drop here alone. So all the loot kind of makes it worth it. Number 2. Coral Cove so, one of our favorite points of interest in Fortnite Chapter 2 so far has definitely got to be Coral Cove. I mean, just look at it. You're telling me that you can look at these fish stick inspired Easter Island heads and not immediately want to go check this place out? Coral Cove is an island located northwest of Sweaty Sands. The location is sort of a tribal inspired tiki village with small huts located all over the island many of which contain chests inside of them. Once you've collected the chests in the smaller huts, you can make your way up to the highest point of the island, where you'll find a giant seashell looking creature. Combined with the others, the island gives you a great chance at gathering some quality loot before you move into the next circle. Plus, there won't be nearly as many people dropping here as the other locations in the game. Is this spot so high on the list because we just really like these fish stick statues? Absolutely! But we promise, the loot is really good too. So, before we get into the number one spot on this list, and since you've made it this far, which thank you for, please be sure to use our creator code. It's Arcade Cloud Plays. Make sure to use it the next time you're spending V-Bucks on some of the sick new Chapter 2 skins. It really honestly helps us so much when we create our content, and we really appreciate anyone who uses it. So again, before you pick up some new V-Bucks, Arcade Cloud Plays, thanks. Now, where were we? Here it is, number one, Risky Reels. So we really love the design of many of the new locations Epic put into this new chapter of Fortnite, but it's hard to argue that any of them are better than an actual drive-in movie theater. Although drive-in movies might be dying, it's still an American pastime and it's really great to see Epic paying tribute to that idea. Let's cut to the chase though. This isn't a list covering the best concepts for new Fortnite locations, it's a list about unmarked locations with great loot. And boy does this place have some great loot. Risky Reels is located just west of Frenzy Farm and north of Central Island. Most players will likely drop down towards Frenzy Farm or even the Central Island before they head to this spot, giving you a great opportunity to take advantage of its many loot chests. Risky Reels is in a great central location too, and it has plenty of chests plus a really cool design, so it's kind of difficult to not give it our number one spot. Who knows? Epic will probably even add in a small in-game event where they play a movie on the screen or something, right? I mean, I guess that sounds kind of crazy, but Marshmallow did an entire concert, so why can't we watch a drive-in movie theater? 
I guess we'll have to find out later in chapter 2. Well, that's a wrap on our 10 best unmarked locations in Fortnite Chapter 2. Did we miss anything? What are your favorite new locations so far? We have so many questions for you, so be sure to subscribe to the countdown so you don't miss a thing. Also, ring that bell, give us a like, leave a comment, and share with your friends. You know the drill. Thanks for watching.